Hey everyone, so um, it's EZC Film Girl here for my very first P3 update, finally. Um, I am today on P3, day 13, and my lowest dosage weight was 177.9, and today I am 176.9. Eight. So under the LDW, just about 1.1 pounds. And um, I've really been staying kind of somewhere in that range. So the big thing um, in this P3 that's been kind of interesting was Tom. Tom came this last week, um, just ended yesterday, and was absolutely excruciating. I don't think I've had such a bad time of the month in years. Uh, I couldn't take enough Advil to dull the pain. I stayed in bed an entire day one day. So I don't really know exactly what that's about. I think it might have been, it might be the milk products. I have been consuming so much milk products basically it helped me get my calories up and I have had a tendency in the past to when I quit milk products I sometimes won't even get cramps at all and also when I stopped eating gluten um, had sort of so when I stopped eating gluten gluten the first time I stopped drinking milk so I had no cramps for like four months after that it was amazing so I'm eating a lot of yogurt Tons of milk in my coffee, cream, half and half, and even um, eating a little cheese here and there, like an ounce of cheddar in the evening if I really like need a snack, um, feta on my salad, that kind of thing. So I really think that might be part of it, and I am going to have another time of the month right before I start my next round of HCG, which will be the beginning of January, so I'm going to really... <laughs> try and come back on the dairy, which is going to be tough for me. And I, that's kind of how I've made um, eating this amount of protein easier. So we'll see how that goes. But uh, I did have a little weight fluctuation within Tom. It wasn't terrible. The highest I got up to was yesterday. I was 178.8 and then immediately went down two pounds this morning. So, you know, I don't know. <laughs> it's just, my body just kind of does whatever it does, but it has been staying really kind of stable. Okay, so I do want to actually go and go ahead and tell you guys what I ate for Thanksgiving because I had planned to do a way more P3 friendly Thanksgiving, or at least a lot, a lot more stuff for myself, and it just became very obvious, you know, the day before, the day of, that it wasn't going to happen. It was just too much work, and so I decided early in the day to be very careful and diligent about what I was eating, try and eat, you know, pretty clean P3, and then at night just make good-ish decisions. Um, so I woke up Thanksgiving morning at 176. I think I had been 176 for three days. And Thanksgiving morning was my second day of P3 eating. Um, so I think we had scrambled egg with a little bit of sauteed onions, peppers, and cheddar cheese. And then throughout the day I snacked very, very, very lightly on some mixed nuts that I had made. I had bought a ton, like two, I think I made two pounds of nuts and I still have a lot left over. But I bought a ton of different nuts, um, all raw, roasted them myself, and then made kind of a, um, you know, mixture to toss them in. It was mostly rosemary, cumin, coriander, cayenne, and about two tablespoons of butter and one or two tablespoons of brown sugar. So it was not, technically something I should be eating um, 
we also had some just plain peanuts to the side so I was really really trying not to eat too many of those and then uh, and then dinner so for dinner I ate a, a plenty of turkey that's pretty much what I loaded up on <laughs> and uh, some gravy I think I made the gravy with spelt flour I can't remember for sure I considered making it with almond flour and I'm glad I didn't because I was worried it might not come together and thicken and I've used almond flour more recently that way and although it tastes wonderful it's not it doesn't really do what flour does it doesn't really like create that really thick sauce the way flour or cornstarch it doesn't really act as a great thickener so that's kind of something to think about if you want to use it but it tastes good and uh so lots of turkey, some gravy, and then I had about three or four tablespoons of um, stuffing, mashed potatoes, some green peas. I had a single bite of candied yams. Um, let's see what else. Mostly we had really starchy vegetables and food. There were supposed to be some other vegetables and things that didn't get made. Um, I made a cranberry sauce. I made it with the the sugar alcohol erythritol, and it would not hold together. So I put some gelatin in it. And it was a f sort of slightly interesting, different texture, but tasted great. And um, then for dessert, I had made three pies. I had a single bite of each, which probably was close to a teaspoon, and one teaspoon of uh, um, vanilla ice cream, which was delicious. And that was it. If I did any snacking the rest of the night, it was mostly turkey. And um, I was full, but not crazy over full. And uh, had tea and coffee the rest of the night. And really just didn't go crazy. Drank a lot of water. And I woke up the next morning to an actual loss. And I was, so I was 175.1, down 0.1 pounds. And I was, you know, obviously really happy. And... Um, so later that I actually late that day I felt a, I felt both diligent to get back on P3, but then a little excited, and so I probably ate close to one cup of those mixed nuts on Friday, the day after Thanksgiving, and then later that evening, so I had eaten really really great P3 that whole day, just um, very close to P2 foods, but adding a little bit of other you know oil, a little whatever in, and um. I made the two vegetable dishes I had planned to make on Thanksgiving. One was roasted Brussels sprouts. It had some butter. It had a little apple cider vinegar and a teeny bit of molasses. And that's actually a delicious recipe. P4. I think I put it in that Thanksgiving video. And I made the almond, uh, um, the green bean, the sautéed green bean and almond recipe from the Thanksgiving video. Both of them were so good, and I totally went not so crazy and ate a lot of those vegetable dishes, which probably under normal circumstances aren't terrible for you, maybe a little high in sodium. Woke up the next morning, and I really felt like I overate that night, uh, and was up all the way to 178.2. So I was like, ah, crap. And after that, I pretty much was super diligent in doing P3, what everybody kind of typically does. Um, so most mornings are yogurt, um, usually a mixture of 0% Faye and um, another Greek yogurt. I just pick up, you know, whatever one's not terribly expensive. There's a, I feel like I go to a million grocery stores to get everything I need um, of a full fat Greek yogurt. And I kind of mix those together, have an apple, and usually it's somewhere between 8 to 10 ounces of yogurt. And then for lunch, I'm not the best person for having my meal having my meals at like normal times and eating the right foods, all that sort of thing. I but I try to eat like a huge salad at lunch, kind of a Greek style. I'll put feta, I'll put avocado, um, you know, cucumbers, green peppers, onions, maybe some black olives. And the dressing is always just lemon juice and some spices. So 
that's kind of typical. Maybe I'll eat some, um, you know, raw almonds. I, I find that if I eat the roasted nuts that I made, I have still have some of those left. That I have a harder time stopping, and sometimes if I don't eat, like, see, it's I'm having a hard time figuring out on P3 what makes me gain. I really can't tell. Um, I eat pretty much the same foods every day. On occasion, I'll add something in, and then I'll have like a big gain, and then I'll kind of like chill out the next day, and then I'll add that same food in again two days later and have no gain or have a loss, so I don't know exactly what's what. It's a little confusing. I think it might almost be just natural fluctuations in uh, water retention and that sort of thing. And then dinner, I really, really try and kind of fill up on protein, and that's typically, you know, chicken, beef, fish. I bought a lot more fish. And um, vegetables. I don't use a lot of butter because I eat so much. I consume so much cream, milk, half and half during the day with the coffee. I really kind of go crazy with the coffee. But, you know, it's great. I'm staying so stable. I'm really staying um, close to 177 is my pretty typical area. I have gone up to 178.2, 178.4, and then yesterday, 178.8, don't really fully know why I was there, and that was the end of Tom, that could have been it. And I also drank a lot of water and was um, pretty careful yesterday, so who knows. But today I woke up and I was two pounds exactly down. <laughs> I don't know. Um, I can't say enough about drinking water, you absolutely have to drink water. I drink about a gallon a day. And if I can spread it out throughout the day, it's so much better than if I drink it all at night. Um, but that's that's about it. I The only issue I'm having is that I think the my body isn't really, doesn't really care for huge amounts of protein, so I'm really acidic a lot of the time. I know you can kind of help that with lemon juice, uh, fresh lemon juice in water, and also apple cider vinegar and water will alkalize your body. So I need to do that. But I think that as soon as I get to P4, because of my sort of natural tendency to eat vegetarian in my normal life, I'm going to try and add the legumes back in and, you know, all the beans. Not so much the grains, although maybe I'll do quinoa, less starchy grains, try those, and I'll probably have to really cut back on fats. But um, beans are supposed to be a resistant starch, and so your body doesn't recognize their starch the same way it would recognize the starch of a potato or maybe rice. So it shouldn't like go and become sugar so immediately in your body. Hopefully that works out for me, because I'm <laughs> really kind of uncomfortable a lot of the time. A lot of like acidic burning inside. So I don't know if anybody else has had that happen. But I do know my body, and I know it is a lot to do with eating so much protein all the time. Um, but otherwise, doing really good. That will be about a week, week and a half from now. I will let you know how it goes. And uh, in the meantime, I'm just enjoying everyone's updates and making sure I stay connected, at least in that way, since I haven't been making videos. But I'm going to try and be better with that. And... Uh, Honestly, I'm not missing the P2 foods, but I am kind of missing the losing. It is really nice um, to know that when I get back onto P2, things will, will go smoothly and I will continue releasing weight and continue going towards my goals. And um, I just really love that about this. So there's kind of like a calmness and, um, and P3 is not as hard as I thought it was. It is a little hard, honestly, to eat so much cheese and fat, but, <laughs> or not just cheese, but I've really added milk products in, so that's probably the hardest thing, like, being okay with eating that, and then figuring out how to move into P4 and add foods back in that you like to have in your diet, but, anyway, I do have, um, a lot of people's videos to watch and get some, you know, advice on that, and if you guys have any advice, anybody who does eat more vegetarian, typically what you eat, I would love to hear that. Um, 
But in the meantime, I will talk to you probably in about a week and a half. And uh, wishing you wonderful releases. You're stabilizing, wonderful stabilizing. And um, I'll talk to you soon.